Okay, we're going to pick up right where we left off last time. If I do dot slash and then the name of my file, I can run my script here and we have a very basic window. Uh, but you'll notice if we hit the close button here, the X, it closes the window, but it doesn't kill the application. It doesn't kill the script. The script is still looping in its main function. We'll hit control C to kill that. And we'll use our text editor. I'm using Vim, but you can use whatever text editor you'd like. Uh, and I'm going to edit my, my code here. And what we have to do is we have to add a new function with inside our base class here. So I'm going to define, and we will call it destroy. And we're going to uh, give it some variables here. We're going to say self widget and data equals none. And we're going to do a colon here at the end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now to kill the main application, we're just going to use a G GTK function for GTK dot main underscore quit. And we have to put uh, parentheses at the end there. So now that we have that, that function will kill the application when the, the window is closed, but we still have to link the X on the window to that function so that function knows when to run. We're going to add that right here, and we're going to get, say, self dot window, which is the function we've created here, or the object we created here, and we're going to say, we're going to connect that to a function, and we're going to connect it when, what happens to it, when delete, I'm sorry, <laughs> destroy happens, so when the window is destroyed, when that X is clicked, so that's what that's saying right here. We're saying when our window is closed, when you hit the X on the window, what's going to happen? We're going to run this function self destroy and destroy. This right here is the function we created up here. So we're saying when our window is closed, destroyed, when the X is clicked, we're going to connect it to this function, self-destroyed, which is this up here, and what we're going to do is quit. Let's see how that runs. We'll save that, dot slash the name of your file. Our window opens. If I hit the X, the whole application closes, the whole script closes. Perfect. Now, if you want to add other stuff to that function, you can. So let's say when someone closes the window, maybe you want to automatically save data when the window is closed. So we'll edit the script again. We don't add, need to add a new function. We can add right in here. I'm not going to actually write out uh, something to save the file. I'm just going to give you an example. We'll say print you clicked the close button. So this will, message will be displayed in the terminal when you close the application. Just before the application closes, it will print that. So we'll save that. We'll run our script again. And if I click the X here, not only does it close the program, but right before it closes, it says you click the close button. So that is a way that you can have stuff happen at the program shutdown. Thank you for watching this video. I have more to come on GTK and Python and other GUI uh, toolkits that we can use with Python and other programming languages in the coming weeks. Uh, visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. The link is in the description or the doobly-doo, as some people say. And um, uh, also visit uh, our forum at filmsbychris.com forward slash forum. Go there, share ideas, share scripts, ask questions. Uh, also, chat with us at filmsbychris.com forward slash IRC or just go to Freenode. The channel is Films by Chris. And remember, it's Chris with a K. Thank you for watching and have a great day.